Hi guys, on this video I'll show you the basics of uh, mounting ISO images on Linux. In this folder I've got files full of ISO images, which most of them are Linux distributions and nearly of them, all of them, just just one which is a, f um, a sample film just to show you on this video. Now why would you want to mount ISO images? Now ISO images is like a zip file for um, discs. Now, inside the ISO images, it contains um, uh, uh, various different files compressed into one file, and yeah. And when you burn it into a disk, it just extracts all those files, and then you are able to see the contents. Uh, yeah. And it may occur to you that um, you don't want to, you don't have a disk, or you um, cannot, you don't have a disk burning tool you may not want to waste a disk or something like that and you just want to see what's inside the ISO image now you can use the only way to um, do that is to uh, mount it as an ISO image and that will extract what's inside um, the ISO image now you want to open your um, package manager and search for gmount I will provide the link to the website also and then right click mark for installation and apply that install gmount iso and then launch that through system tools and here it is this is a very neat tool it's very easy to use and it's just um, very polished and it works fine now before you mount you must create um, a blank folder as your mount point and this is a folder where all your mount contents it's going to be are going to be stored now, here you just browse um through the to the um iso image you want to mount so i want to go to download and here i want to mount harry potter iso image i just um click open and the mount point i've created two mount points temp and temp2 now you need um a folder for each mount for each um, ISO image to mount to so temp I click apply I click mount and you don't even have to go to that folder because on the um, places menu here you've got temp <coughs> which acts like um, a disk being input into the computer and now you can see the contents now even on the desktop you can see this um, the mount at the mounted ISO image which acts like a disk image which acts like a disk being plugged into the computer which works fine as you can see it yeah it, it's very very neat very easy to you and I w also want to mount um, something else so I want to browse through my folder again and hopefully I want to mount something like Fedora 11 click open I select a different blank folder, temp2, I click apply, and then I click mount. Another folder, another device has been plugged in. Foo. And here are all the contents contained inside the Fedora folder. Now, this is not permanent, of course, if you click unmount, like ejecting a disk, it just, um, it just um, unmount it and then that file has been it's like that folder has been um, removed all the contents inside that folder has been removed but if you want that file to be permanently on your computer you can copy that file and then paste it somewhere else and that will be permanently stored but uh, yeah and to unmount you just use this tool and then click unmount note that you can't unmount it from here like you could you would be able to do with um, normal devices well yeah just click on mount here and your devices will be unmount as you can see it doesn't appear here anymore and if you check the folders temp well, the folder has been emptied yeah and that's really it on um, this vi tutorial on mounting um, ISO images I'm using this tool and please comment, rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching.